welcome to our vlog! Hi guys! Welcome to our vlog! This is J. Maria Cunha. I am Queen Salvage Yagilor. So for today's video, you are going to learn something. Something about ICT. Mainly, the basic concepts of ICT. First, let us talk about ICT. What is ICT? Information Communications Technology Information and Communication Technologies in Education deal with the use of information and communication technologies within educational technology. Basically, ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate, create, disseminate, store, and manage information. Technology refers to a mix of process and products used in the application of knowledge. Examples are cell phone, laptop, and computer. Technology is very important because it makes our work easier. It can be used in education, communication, security, supplies, and space. Blog Blog is an online journal where posted information from both teachers and students are arranged. Blog is a communication tool that anyone can use, like radio, newspaper, and television. A blog is a tool you can use to communicate, educate, and inform. ICT Literacy Information and Communication Technology Literacy or ICT Literacy Use of digital technology, communication tools, or networks to assess, manage, integrate, evaluate, and create information in order to function in a knowledge society. ICT Literacy is being literate in how to access information, use that information critically, and evaluate it using digital tools and technology. Web access. It is the ability of learners to access the internet at any point during the lesson in order to take advantage of the array of available education resources. To help you understand more about web access, here is a video clip from Advantech. Industrial applications in the IoT era. Web access is the core of Advantech's industrial IoT solutions. This SCADA software with fully web-based architecture is of great assistance in the implementation of edge computing. Educational technology refers to the use of technology in teaching and learning. It includes both non-digital and digital. It is used in facilitating learning and improving performance of creating, using, and managing appropriate technological resources. WebQuest It is an inquiry-oriented lesson format in which most or all information that learners work with comes from the web. These can be created using various programs including simple word processing documents that include links to websites. Productivity tools. It refers to any type of software associated with computers and related technologies that can be used as tools for personal professional or classroom productivity. Digital literacy is the ability to find, evaluate, utilize, share, and create contents using information technologies and the internet. It is also the ability to use information and communication requiring both cognitive and technical skills. Digital learning is any type of learning that is accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. Flipped Classroom It utilizes a reverse instructional delivery where the teacher is required to use the web resources 
as homework or out-of-class activity as initial instruction of the lesson, which will be discussed during class time. Online digital tools and apps use an internet connection. So these are tools and apps that uses internet connection in order to function. Examples are Skype, Zoom, and Google Meet. So these are type of telecommunication application software product that specializes in providing video chat and voice calls between computers, tablets, mobile device via internet. Facebook. Facebook is a popular social networking site used by students and adults worldwide to present information on themselves and to the world. Also, on Facebook, people can keep in touch with friends, family, and businesses. Offline Digital Tools and Apps it includes Canary Learning, which allows offline access for students to write homework and for teachers to grade it. Also, KA Lite, a lightweight web application software that allows users without internet access to engage with Khan Academy videos and exercises in completely offline setting. Technology Tools it is an instrument used for doing work. It can be anything that helps you accomplish your goal with the use of technology. Technology tools include data or calculation tools like Microsoft Excel, email tools like Gmail. Instructional technology is the theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation of processes and resources for learning. Wiki Wiki is an editable website usually with limited access, allows students to collaboratively create and post written works or digital files such as digital photos or videos. Wikipedia is an example of wiki. Software refers to program control instructions and accompanying documents stored on desk or tapes when not being used in computers. Podcast Podcast is a video or audio multimedia clip about a single topic, typically in the format of the radio talk show. Podcast has two basic functions. First is to retrieve information, and then second is to disseminate information. Google Apps Google Apps is a cloud-based teaching tool which is stored in the Google server and is available for students both at home and in school. Multimedia Sequential or simultaneous use of variety of formats in a given presentations or self-study program. V-O-I-P or VOIP which means voice over internet protocol. VoIP is a category of hardware and software that enables people to use the internet as transmission medium for telephone calls by sending voice data in packets using IP rather than traditional circuit transmission. Internet is a massive network of networks a network's infrastructure. It is generally defined as a global network connecting millions of computers. Internet allows people to improve the quality of their life. It opens access to previously inaccessible things. With almost 3 million users, Internet has been emerging as one of the most important tools of communication.
vlog. Vlog is a video blog where each entry is posted as video instead of text. Vlog entries often combine embedded video with the supporting text, images, and other metadata. Entries can be recorded in one take or cut into multiple parts. Here is a short introduction of vlog. World Wide Web is also called as web. It's a graphical environment on computer networks that allows you to access, view, and maintain documentation that can include text, data, sound, and videos of the internet. Hope you learned something about our vlog! Thanks for watching!